I have an amazing guest that's lined up and ready to talk to us. We got Stefan Kuntz on the show with us today. And if you don't know who he is, there's a good chance you're already following him on Instagrizzle. He's a letterer, designer, illustrator, typographer. He also makes tools for creative people. Brushes, look at this, for Procreate. There's a bunch of questions circling process. Where do you begin? And maybe if you could illuminate some of those steps. I wanted to do something on the chalk wall and start off with the idea like home is where the chalk wall is then moved into like home is where the <laughs> pants aren't uh, because it was just funny of I, I had that idea of like holding the the pants up and making that an egg that was a perfect shape for it and then when i was starting designing i'm like oh i have no idea like composition wise how to make it interesting and and so i just drew these two lines like the upper and and lower line of the pants and and kind of that slanted um that up slanted uh, line and that became the center and then then becomes like that problem solving where do i put the next words and like oh is where bounces out beautifully um and so you go from there and you you just keep on going and then suddenly i think it turned out great if, if we're talking about like how to grow on on instagram doing something that people will talk about that's how you'll get further and people will recommend you and and they're like, oh, did you see this guy who did a time lapse of him drawing something in, in his underwear? Right. And at the beginning, I, I tried to make it because you always want to start the engagement on your post with with like a lot of hype. So it, it, it has to take off strong. Otherwise, it, it, it might get lost in, in the algorithm. And so I did what I did. It was I asked people like, oh, I, I kind of forgot to put on pants for this one and kind of like <laughs> make it look like a mistake until they oh. see the quote. So people were already like messaging me like, what, did you really forget it? And they're like laughing and oh, everything. And so I see. That Chris, that Chris, the oh, hype of you. like, oh, actually, I want to see that. Look and at you, you, you marketer, you. For, for my undies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's very interesting because you put one twist in it and you figured out how can you build interest in it. You can call it hype, you can call it whatever, PR, marketing. But there you are, you're really smart about this kind of stuff. I don't think you take Instagram like how most people take Instagram. I think you sit there and you think like, what am I going to do that's going to get people to talk about? And you're conceptually designing it almost like an ad, an ad in a way that's really engaging. The way that you talked about your pants, how to create a little bit of fun controversy. It's almost like you're a social media marketing person who just so happens to be a pretty darn good hand lettering artist just on the side. Stefan, I don't even know if this is your true calling. Maybe when you're back in Zurich, you should sell the service of, I'm going to help you design campaigns and we're going to charge you $250,000. And then you get to sit there and there use that creative brain of yours to think like, we'll, we'll shoot it this way and, and you just art direct and creative direct the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who knows? I think Stefan is the uh, the Johnny Cupcakes of the hand lettering world. Sure. He is. He's right. a master marketer. <laughs> very, very smart. Yes. Very intelligent. God, I hate you. 